Hey guys, I'm Blake Rawls, and you are watching Toymatic. Are you ready to go down the rabbit hole that is toy collecting? Let's find out. we are going to be opening the Na 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 Surprise Teens Quinn Nash and uh, I'm super excited to open this one um, for those who don't know anything about the Na 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 surprises um, this one in particular is larger than your typical Na 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 surprise it is a teen collection and this one is a series one um, Quinn Nash and a little phrase right here says taking a big bite out of life Welcome to the lifestyles of the plush and glamorous. We got a soft spot for great fashion, so whether we're hanging with our friends or walking the fuzzy carpet, we always look our best because we're wild for style. Well, this one is the uh, boy team na 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 um, for the series one, and he looks to be as a shark theme, so I'm super excited to unbox him. And otherwise than that, thanks for joining. We'll see what happens. So here at the box on the very top, there's a easy to puncture section that you'll be able to pry open the box here. Um, along the side, you just wanna be careful and do kind of not what I did here. And you might end up tearing the box a little bit and even hurting yourself. So just make sure that if you are giving this as a gift to a kid, that you wanna open this up safely. Um, once opened, um, you will find the doll inside. Um, you have about six different surprises there in their nice little gold surprise bags and then the doll inside of course um, Again, just make sure that if you are giving this as a gift um, to help your loved one or your child open this up And inside there's a little uh, pamphlet for the series So this is series one and I have Quinn Nash and of course you have four other dolls that you can collect there You have Samantha Smarty um, and a few others that I think are a great collection um, to add to your Na 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 surprise doll collection itself. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to struggle pulling the doll out here. Um, I'm gonna pull off this little net right now and um, that was what was used to protect his hair. Overall, the doll is a really good quality. For those who don't have the Na 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 dolls, um, you'll notice that they're soft and plushy. Um, they are kind of plastic over a softer material, kind of a kind of like a rag doll. Um, it's all screen printed. Um, everything is screen printed on the doll. Um, MGA does an excellent job doing a overall representation on the dolls themselves, and I love the theming on this doll. And as you can see, I'm opening up the first surprise, and the first surprise here is obviously this cute little hat. It says Jossum. I mean, how cute is that? And then of course attached, um, per fashion of the Na 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 surprise dolls, you have the little tag, kind of similar to what a Beanie Baby is, but it has his name, Quinn Nash, with the birthday, uh, September 3rd. And so it's just a little collectible way. I don't like to pull these tags, but you know, for little children, you may want to do that. And then I am opening the little next surprise bag here. As you can see, I'm struggling doing this as well. Um, over here, you have the cute little shorts. Um, they're kind of swim trunks or board shorts that they have say na 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 na. I think they kind of tried to go off a Jaws theme, so it was kind of like na 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 na. I don't know. 
And then I thought this was really cool. It says Amity Island Surf Club. Now, for those who are Jaws fans, I mean, that is really awesome. Um, for the most part, you know, these little items are very well detailed for these dolls. Um, I really think they're cool. And then, of course, you got the nice, cool shoes. They have the little waves on them. And they really do kind of stand out. You know, you can see the shoelaces and the colors. I think it was really well made for, um, you know, just overall quality is great. And then there's a brush. I, I didn't understand the brush, to be honest. The brush was kind of a little ridiculous just because the hair is not very brushable. If you notice on this doll, and I'll get to it in a minute, he has stiff hair. And then, of course, there's the jacket. Has a shark theme as well. Um, very well detailed clothing. But as I was saying, the hair itself... Um, it's flocked hair on the siding and then of course the hair is really well gelled so I mean unless you're really wanting to get the gel out on the hair then you know you really don't really need the brush for this doll I mean most of the Nana Nana surprises do have you have you know really soft you know rooted hair in these large teen dolls but um, in this particular doll I just didn't see the purpose for the brush and, you know, here I am, I'm putting on the clothes. Um, one thing that you'll notice that I'm doing is the tags always seem to annoy me a little bit. So I'm just kind of covering the tag up underneath that shirt there and getting it all situated for him to get dressed. And, you know, these dolls are pretty fairly easy to dress themselves. They have wiring in them. And you can move them around and pose them around a little bit. I mean, they're just... You know, for those parents who really want to buy a doll, but don't want to buy a fashion doll just because you're scared that, you know, children are going to lose all these little pieces, these are great dolls. And look at the details. I mean, there's so many little details to this. You know, the zipper, the the pulls on the shirt. I mean, it just really is for a fashion doll. It's a really well-made quality doll for, I mean, MGA did a fantastic job for these children to, you know, have a good quality doll, especially for those younger groups who want, like I said, you want to buy a fashion doll for your kid, but you don't want them to lose all these little surprises and stuff. And it's a little bit bigger and easier to handle. And they're just so soft and cuddly. I mean, here is me and I'm trying to play with him and, you know, make him stand a little bit and stuff. And, you know, again, I don't know about the brush, but that was kind of, you know, whatever, you know, if some people want to brush out the gel, that's great. But I mean, he really stands up well if you try to get him to pose and it has just really great qualities. I think he's just an overall really cute doll and I couldn't have been pleased more with this purchase. So, hey, for those parents who are looking for a gift. So, I hope you liked my channel today. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe button or like the video if you liked it. And we'll see you next time.